Big step in the U.S. tonight toward treating mental health as a part of everyone's overall health. For the first time, an influential panel is recommending every adult under the age of 65 should be regularly screened for anxiety, the most common mental illness. This comes after the pandemic prompted a conversation about taking care of our mental health. A CDC report finding that in 2019, adults ages 18 to 44 were the least likely to have received treatment for mental health. But in 2021, that age group became the most likely. Uh, Rose Schmidt joins us and Rose, this could have have a big impact on helping people get treatment. Well, Randy, mental health is health and professionals say some employers are finally starting to recognize that there has been a lot of stress related to juggling kids, jobs, food insecurity and the uncertainty left by the pandemic. We're two and a half years out from the start of the pandemic, but in many ways, it's still taking its toll. We still have people dying every day um, because of COVID. And so we can't just kind of push it in a box and think that it's, you know, it's going to be okay. We've had a lot happen to us. We need to kind of recognize it, talk about it. NAMI Minnesota says most people experienced some type of anxiety or depression, even just for a couple of days during the pandemic. Anxiety has increased by 25% across the world. But it's an average of 23 years between when someone's actually experiencing the symptoms and actually accessing treatment. And that's why the nonprofit is glad to see, for the first time, a U.S. panel recommending that all adults under 65 be screened for anxiety. Depression screening is also recommended. Now, screening is different from diagnosis, and in this case, it's a simple seven-question quiz asking things like how often you feel nervous. The widespread screening could also really spark a change in how we view mental health. Dr. Barbara Skoji Mack says at Central Care she has seen an increased need for services, longer wait times and more referrals. She says the sooner it's caught, the sooner doctors can provide support. And depression and anxiety are treatable just like, you know, high blood pressure or other types of um, health issues. Uh, we we, we want to know that there's a problem there so that we can help. The CDC has some tips for coping with stress, like waking up and going to bed at the same time every day, moving around more, sitting less, and meditation. But if you need immediate help, please dial 911, or you can text or call the Suicide Lifeline. That number is 988. Kelsey. All right, thank you, Rose.